Hi, I'm Adam Berkman, and today I'll be showing you how to debone a rabbit. So we're going to start with a whole rabbit while they're farmed. And the first thing we're going to do is cut through the rib cage and the breastbone into the chest. Next, we're going to pop the legs out of their sockets and the hip joints. We're going to start the deboning process by finding the rib cage and making an incision along the top of the ribs. Keeping the edge of the knife against the rib cage, you're going to pull away the flap of meat with your off hand and continue cutting down along the rib cage, separating the meat from the bones. Once one side of the rib cage is released, you can start on the other side and do the same thing. Once both sides of the rib cage are released, we're going to start working to release the upper spine and neck. Once the neck is free and clear, we're going to start working our way down towards the tail along the spine. It is very likely that you'll end up with a hole between the two loins, but that's not a big deal. Once you get towards the back end, separate the tailbone from the hips and remove the entire spine and rib cage from the rabbit. From there, we're going to start working on the rear legs. Poke your blade under the hip bone and then start working it around the entire hip to separate it from the meat. Find the hip socket and then use your fingers to find the femur running from the hip to the knee. Run your knife blade along one side of the femur to expose it, then run it along the other side and underneath to isolate the bone. From there, run the knife down along the shin, pushing the meat to either side and isolating the bone, pulling it up. Once the leg bones are mostly clear, grasp them, then cut off any extraneous meat holding onto the bones. Make your way back to the hip joint and slice away any meat still clinging to the bones. Pull upwards and make the final cut to release the leg and hip bones. Now it's time to do the same thing on the other side, following the exact same process. Once the legs and hips have been removed, it's time to flip the rabbit over and work on the shoulders. We're going to use our fingers to locate the shoulder blade, a small rigid bone located on the shoulder. Using the tip of the knife, we're going to cut to either side of the shoulder blade and then continue scraping along the shoulder. Once you've isolated the shoulder blade, use the tip of your knife to work underneath the shoulder, separating it from the meat. Separate the shoulder all the way down to the first joint. Using the tip of your knife, work your way down the arm bone, separating the meat from the bone just like we did with the rear legs. I'll usually just snip off the meat at the elbow and throw the arm bone with the front shanks into the stockpile. Now we're going to repeat the same process on the other shoulder. 